Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome into the video. So in this video, I'm going to be going through why I've been buying a ton of Peloton stock in the last couple of days. So without further ado, let's get into it. So right now we can see that Peloton is valued right around $67. Um, this past year, it's up huge, up over 150%. Over the entire year in this past month, it's up 8.86%, which is pretty solid as well. So in my opinion, Peloton right now is one of the most disrespected stocks in the market. So why do I say this? Because Peloton is trading at such a high valuation. So many people think that the stock is overvalued, but I believe the stock is heavily undervalued for the growth potential that it has. So right now we see Zoom, Shopify, Facebook, all of these tech companies that are going absolutely crazy because of the hype, and they're big companies. These are large cap companies going crazy. Now Peloton, deservedly so, has been doing great this year because the global pandemic kept everybody at home. This is the at-home workout space. This is what they specialize in, so of course that helped the business. But Peloton has kind of stalled since then with just slower gains compared to these other companies who are absolutely taking off. I mean, just today, Netflix was up over 11%. Facebook was up over 8%. Shopify up over 5%. All these companies are taking off. Peloton is up 1% and down after hours. Now, this is crazy, guys. Now, Peloton is valued like a pretty big company, but I believe that the excitement needs to be much more than what it is. Peloton is pretty much the Tesla of fitness, but people are not valuing it like this. They're, it's not at a crazy high valuation. So let's talk about the business model real quick. So Peloton sells bikes and treadmills. So their bikes are the most popular thing. So everybody that owns a Peloton that wants to take classes at home, they pay $39 a month. This is a fee for them to subscribe to Peloton services where they can attend as many classes as they want. So let's talk about a place like SoulCycle. So SoulCycle, the price is $200 a month for unlimited classes or $34 per each class. So these people have Pelotons, they take the Peloton home, they can attend as many classes as they want, paying the $39 fee, and pretty much everybody does this who owns a Peloton. So this adds up to a crazy amount of revenue. So the tens of millions of people who own a Peloton, this $39 per month adds up to a crazy amount. And the thing that I love about Peloton is their trainers. Their trainers are kind of like celebrities. They establish a personal connection in a way with people who are working out with them, they push each other to the limit, it's just a connection. People have their favorite trainers and people stay with Peloton because these trainers are so good. Peloton has the best trainers and they pay them very highly. They pay their trainers over $500,000 a year for some of them. So to make sure that they stay with Peloton because that is some of, that is one of the driving factors that brings people over to Peloton is the trainers. They're the best in the business. And for this reason, people just flock to Peloton. They know that they're the best and they're in a way they're celebrities. So currently Peloton's bikes sell for a little bit over $2,000 and their treadmill sells for $4,295. So they are coming out with a tread next year that is expected to be around the price point of $2,000 to make it more affordable to the masses. All right, so now that we've gone over Peloton's business model, let's talk about why I've been throwing so much money at this stock lately. So first of all, check this out. This was posted six days ago. Peloton is looking for a vice president of product marketing for Peloton Strength. So what does this mean? They're hiring somebody to oversee the strength product line. So what could this possibly mean? In my opinion, I think there's a good chance that they come out with a rower. Now we know that the rowers are very popular in gyms. In my personal gym, whenever I go to the gym, somebody is always using this rower. So I think this would bring in a ton of sales for them. Now, of course, this is just speculation, but what we do know is that Peloton is coming out with a line of products for strength. So right now, this company is purely in cardio. They have the treadmill, which is just running. They have the bike, which is just pump your legs. This is pure cardio. Imagine them incorporating power machines or just weights or weight classes. I could definitely see this happening, attracting a whole new dynamic of people and people who just like buy the weights, just want to be with the best trainers. Maybe they don't buy anything Peloton, but they want to be with these best trainers. They buy the subscription and just use their own weights. And this is just the number one brand in the fitness space which is absolutely huge. If you have that number one name, that's pretty much all you need and then you expand and the sky is the limit for this company as they come up with new products, come up with new product lines. Their trainers just bring in everybody. That's the thing that I love about this company so much. Like I've been saying, these trainers are what bring people to the company, to the business and make them leave. Also, Peloton has pretty much become a social trend and a status symbol. So think, think about this, you're at work, you're talking to your friend, they have a Peloton, they're just saying how beneficial it is to their health. You end up getting one, you can connect with this friend, you can see each other's progress working out, you can compete with each other, this could spread throughout the work office. Now Peloton has literally become a status symbol, like somebody wears a Rolex, somebody can have a Peloton. Okay, it's not that serious, but in a way it's kind of like this when you talk about your Peloton, people look like, oh, that is super expensive, that is some nice stuff, they must really care about their health, and people want to be looked at like that. 
And also people spend up for their health. People spend up for workout gear. We see some gyms over $200 a month. Instead of going to a $200 gym, in my opinion, as long as you like biking, I would pay that $2,000 up front and then you just pay $39 a month for the best workout classes and unlimited classes. So why have I been buying Peloton? Why not wait a little bit till I can get a better price? In my opinion, this is the best price we're gonna get for a while. They have earnings, as you can see, on September 10th. I think they're gonna absolutely destroy expectations and I expect a run up up towards earnings. Personally, I may or may not sell before earnings just because earnings may be priced in if we see a huge run up. But in my opinion, in this $67 range, earnings are not priced in at all. I think it should be $75 range pre-earnings. And if it's not there, I'll be holding through earnings because I am super bullish. Now, Peloton is backed up with orders. They're making as many bikes as they can and it still takes them five to seven weeks to get them to their customer. So they're backed up with orders. They're making as many bikes as they can. So the demand is sky high. I expect a record sales numbers. I expect the CEO to hype this stock up like he did on the last conference call. Last conference call, the Peloton CEO literally ended the call saying that Peloton is a rocket ship and has no limit to its upside. So Peloton knows what they're doing. They do care about the stock price. They're trying to get people excited and rightfully so. I don't think people have gotten as excited about this one yet as they have with other companies and people should be getting very, very excited for Peloton because I believe this is the next big thing and it's gonna be the number one player in the at-home fitness space, which will be massive as we see lately. 69% of people have canceled their gym memberships. What does this mean? People have to work out, right? People love to work out. These people are working out at their home. What's the number one product for their home? Peloton. So we can see some past earnings by quarter for Peloton. So every single quarter they have consistently beat revenue estimates. So as you can see, they consistently beat revenue estimates. What does this mean? They outperform, they're underestimated. Looking at this, I expect another revenue beat and I expect some huge guidance numbers given by the company. Now what's gonna move the stock price for earnings? One thing that we have to realize is the stock market trades on future expectations, not past performance. So Peloton probably had a blowout quarter that's gonna pe get people excited straight up. But what's gonna move the stock price is the guidance that they give. In my opinion, the guidance that they give is gonna be absolutely massive. They're gonna say that they're gonna keep these sales numbers going. And for that reason, that is the reason that I'm expecting a lot of stuff and a ton of success from this Peloton's earnings call and why I am super bullish. And I think there's guaranteed hype leading into the earnings call because these sales numbers are gonna be massive. People are gonna be excited. People are gonna be buying in, FOMOing into Peloton before earnings because they wanna hold their earnings. And for that reason, it could be a very, very easy money trade selling before earnings, which I personally may or may not do, but that would be easy money to secure your gains for Peloton. So a common myth that I see people talk about with Peloton is, oh, Peloton just a workout company. They have a limit to their upside. I think Peloton is a tech company. Let's look at this article and what it says about Peloton. So this article says, just like Apple, Peloton sells hardware that is differentiated by software. So this is not just a physical product. This is something online that they have such a competitive advantage in. They have the moat for this business. Check this out. Peloton's bikes and treadmills had a gross margin of 45.3% in the fiscal third quarter, which was higher than Apple's product segment in the same period. Selling high margin products with its own software alone doesn't make Peloton a technology company. The key is the same reason why Apple can be considered a technology company, disruption. Previously, it was impossible to take cycling classes when and where you wanted. Peloton now has made this possible while significantly driving down the price per class. If the avid cycler takes 20 classes per month, it'll cost him $640 through SoulCycle, like I was saying earlier for SoulCycle. One Peloton bike costs $2,245 plus $39 per month for the cost of the subscription. After about four months, one Peloton bike has paid for itself, not to mention the fact that the number of classes one can take is unlimited. So that is the exact point that I've been trying to get across. Peloton is the better investment for the avid biker and just wait till they come up with more products, wait until they come out with a cheaper treadmill and wait until they come out with their strength product line. The sky is the limit for this company. They have over $1 billion in cash sitting on the sidelines. In my opinion, they could acquire a company. They could come out with their new strength products, um, moving over from cardio to strength and cardio, targeting a whole new dynamic of people. They're gonna make some big moves soon. They have all this cash waiting to do something with. And in my opinion, it's just a matter of time before they come up with some news about the next business and expansion that Peloton is working on. This is not just a bike company, guys. This is gonna be a technology company throughout the workout space, taking over the at-home fitness space. So now that I've given you guys that bullish thesis on Peloton, what could be a reasonable price target for the foreseeable future? So in my opinion, like I've been saying, I could see $75 running up to earnings, which I would expect on September 9th 
or September 10th midday, I could expect to see $75. And that's what I expect to be fair value leading into earnings. Now my price target into 2021 is I expect in the first half of 2021, Peloton hits $100 per share very, very easily throughout the year. I could see Peloton doing some crazy expansion. It could reach $200 per share within the next couple years. And in my opinion, they have the chance to be the next $100 billion company. Right now they're trading under 20 billion and I think they could have the best chance throughout the whole market of being a $20 billion company and making it to $100 billion in valuation. Everything adds up when you, they started to get excitement, they started to take off this year, and I think that is con gonna continue into the next couple years. This is not just from the pandemic. This is gonna be a whole societal change going into the next few years, and the stay-at-home fitness space is just gonna grow and grow. Peloton's product lines are gonna grow and grow. And some more research that I wanna get across. Check this out. Peloton has a cult following. So why do I say this? Take a look at these Google Trends. Their Google Trends are absolutely up huge from people looking at Peloton apparel. Peloton also sells apparel, biking shorts, biking shoes, Peloton shirts. People love the Peloton brand. They have a cult following. You either love them or hate them, kind of like Tesla guys. If you love them or hate them, that's a good thing for the stock price. The lover is going to buy in, the haters may short it, and the haters will get squeezed out sooner or later. So guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Let me know your thoughts on Peloton down below. Please hit the like button for me. Please subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. Thanks so much for all the support. If you're interested in joining the private stock group, the link is down below. If you want to get two free stocks on Webull, five free dollars on Acorn Investing, or ten free dollars in Bitcoin, those links are down below in the description. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support. Let's get rich.